Canoes and kayaks enter the water as drummers bless the hundreds that gathered along the banks of the Peace River to celebrate the spirit of the valley and protest the construction of the Site C Dam, a project which has seen its total cost increase to $10.7 billion. Last December, the NDP government decided to continue with the construction of the dam after it underwent a review from the BC Utilities Commission. But many paddlers here support other alternatives to clean energy creation like wind, solar and geothermal and say there is no reason to build a mega project and flood the Peace River Valley. It's important at this time for people to just continue to show that you know this this project it's BS and uh, and and it's it's not acceptable you know what what the John Horgan government's done is not acceptable Sla a slap in the face to the BCUC process and and the findings that they did and and site C is just plain wrong and and I, I think that's the message people um, brought to this today and you can look upstream from the existing dams and see what's happening you know, we got 219 caribou left. All the fish are are, are poisoned with methylmercury. Uh, there's no mountain goat, no mountain sheep, and that's all a direct result of hydroelectric power being developed in the Peace River Valley. You know, and we've always said we're not opposed to the development of the energy. What we're opposed to is the destruction of this valley. The annual paddle is hosted by the West Moberly and Prophet River First Nations, as well as the Peace Valley Landowner Association. And next Monday, those two First Nations will be in Vancouver courts, seeking to stop work injunction on the project, hoping to temporarily halt construction of the dam until the issue of infringement of treaty rights is brought before a judge. Uh, we filed an injunction. Uh, to stop development while they take a look at doing an infringement justification. Uh, uh, part of the process of, of what's been going on here is, is we have been asking for a, a treaty infringement justification. The government has the legal right to infringe the treaty. They have to justify it though. And when we asked the federal government, the federal government admitted they did not do a justification. The issue of trampling of treaty rights by um, building this project has never been addressed in this process and look at where we're at in it and you know I mean that's just that should be criminal. Um, it goes against the the the, the wording of the site uh, the treaty 8 um, agreement so um, so here we are so it is a very strong case and uh, and, uh, and we continue to fundraise for that. Organizers of the paddle are asking anyone who would like to support the West Moberly and Prophet River First Nations legal challenges to visit stakeinthepeace.ca and make a donation. Brendan Miller, CJDC TV News from Bear Flat.